Hi YouTube, it's Hungry Julie, New York based food vlogger who loves everything food and I'm back with another video. So today we're going to do a travel vlog of my trip to Newport, Rhode Island. Um, it's probably not a place most people would go but you know due to the COVID situation uh, unfortunately. Um, there's not many options for weekend getaways, so it's one of the options. <laughs> um, but it's a good trip just away from the city. Um, you get fresh air, you get, you know, the ocean breeze, so that's always nice. Um, you know, um, those things are things that you don't get in New York. So definitely, definitely have to check out Newport, Rhode Island if you're ever there. Um, so basically, I really went there to eat because there's not much to do there, but um, I did see some sights, eat a lot of seafood. Um, I had put all my, all my recommendations in the description box, so be sure to check those out. And uh, let me know if you enjoy these food, these food travel vlogs, you know, um, because I do enjoy traveling, going out there and, you know, seeing um, you know, places I've been, places I haven't been, and it's always fun to check out new places. And I haven't been to Rhode Island in many, many years, so it's cool to check it out. Um, so enjoy! Of course, first stop is Newport Lobster Shack. It's right in downtown Newport. Um, this is me waiting to place my order along with everyone else in town. <laughs> um, this is the menu. And right here is the seafood market where you can get some to go. And you get to sit on this dock and eat your lobster. It's a great view. And of course, I only have two other people, so we each got a lobster. And also got... Um, clam chowder and lobster biscuit as well. The lobster dinner comes with um, corn, coleslaw, and melted butter. And this is the cliff walk. Uh, you can look at the beach on the left side and then on the right side you will see mansions which is nice. And it was a really nice day, so it's a really nice walk um, along this pretty flat path, I would say. This is 40 steps, you can walk down to the rocks. This is me walking down. And as you can see, you can sit on the rocks and enjoy the day. Hey, this is Easton Beach. It's rather cold, so no one's in the water. And this is St. Anne Pier, uh, right in downtown Newport. This is Midtown Oyster Bar, where we went for dinner. They have a great uh, patio in the back, very quiet. This is the menu, a lot of seafood, of course and drinks on the back. And this is the baked oysters it's with bacon, parmesan, and spinach. So delicious. The mahi-mahi, which comes with rice and vegetables. Really fresh and delicious. And this is a seafood pan roast. There's a lot of seafood in here. Scallops, calamari, mussels, shrimp, clams, everything. And of course got ice cream because why not? Of course I'm going to enjoy the sunset on the pier while eating my ice cream. This is the life. This is the Breakers Mansion. Uh, it used to be owned by the Vanderbilts and now it's open to the public uh, if you ever want to go. And this is Ocean Drive which is very scenic and of course lots of mansions to look at and also a lot of random fishing spots and beaches as well 
and also went to get lunch at Anthony's Seafood. This is their specialty, spicy quahog, which is a stuffed clam. And this is the Portuguese fish stew, really delicious. Um, there's so much seafood in it. This is the Kampau calamari, really crispy, uh, lightly breaded, so delicious. And the fish and chips. So this is a cod, it was really fresh and lightly breaded. The fish tacos, also cod, uh, lightly breaded as well. The food was great. Thanks for watching to the very end of the video. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment below if you've been to Newport and you know if you have any recommendations for Newport that you want to share with everybody that would be great and thanks for watching and thanks for all the support and stay tuned for more videos all right bye